I'm literally dying. Has to be 4K for the 4K TV. I don't understand. Like, what? I was trying to pay and I read it and I was. She's beautiful. What a dress. <laughs> I'm just not having a good time at the minute. I'm not having a good time at all. I wasn't well last week. I had some stuff going on last week. But then it was coming to an end. Um for the week uh just in time for the weekend. Yeah, I was feeling good. And then I I wake up on Monday with what I can only assume is I don't know, food poisoning. But it doesn't make any sense because me and Jake ate exactly the same things on sunday so i just woke up in the early hours of monday morning i think i think i was awake from like four till seven a.m feeling sick and then i finally just threw up seven o'clock and then couldn't keep anything down all day um and then what now it's tuesday i'm finally i ate something this morning managed to keep that down but i'm finally feeling better Still don't feel great, but I've been in bed for nearly forty eight hours now. I I stink. I'm sw I'm like so clammy. I'm sweaty as hell. My mum and dad have gone on holiday as well. Just when did they go? They went this morning. I was like, no, don't leave me. I'm literally dying. <sighs> but you know what? I feel a bit better. I mean, I'm so happy to be feeling a bit better. There's nothing worse than. I'd rather be in pain than feel sick. Feeling sick for like 48 hours, no. No. Couldn't even speak last night. Jake came around to look after me. I was like, And then having to repeat it so many times because they can't hear you. A what? A drink. A drink. Please can you get me a drink? I'm just so happy to be feeling a bit better. I'm going to have a shower because I'm just unbelievably sticky and I really hope that I feel human after that. I was going to do a bath, but I think a bath might make you feel sweaty and worse. Oh, just, I just want to be me again. I want to be normal. I want to be much better after a shower. I've done some skincare as well. I feel ten times better. Jake was right. I've got my retainer in that flag like this because I've not been wearing it. I even... I decided to come to Jake's in my dressing gown because I thought, why do I even come wearing a coat? All I do is sit in his room with it. What's the point? Jake's so cute as well. He's been picking me up and dropping me off all week so I don't have to drive. I can't speak. So I don't have to drive because I've been feeling poorly. He's just so cute. Morning. I feel much more like me, thank goodness. Still not 100%, but just thank God. I need to try and get things moving today. I want to get my vlogs posted that they're half ready, but obviously I've not been doing anything, not a single thing. I just want to get things moving. I just want to, I'm not going to set too much for myself. I want to tidy my room and get my vlogs up. That's it. To be fair, they are two big jobs, but no, it's fine. Oh, my dad, well, my dad's just texting me like, it's not too late to come, you know, you'd have loved it here. Pack today and fly tomorrow. You can come and meet us. <laughs> Cute. I'm like, Dad, I've got, a, I've got a tax bill to pay and I've got a house on the way. Like, it's not the right time. I probably need some time on my own, through, as if they've, even though I'm dreading it, um, being alone through the day. Probably need some time on my own to organise organise my thoughts, get myself sorted. I would like to be gone to Turkey though, I would like to be in the sun. Oh also it's the first of the month, it's the first of May, which just I feel like that's a good note to be on. You know, April was April was pretty shitty to me. So yeah, new month, fresh start, that's nice, I like that. And it also means May. We're closer to summer. I think we're going to have some nice sunny days. Just received a parcel, which is really weird. It has my address on it, which is all correct. And then it's got Amy. Amy Halliman's name on it. My friend. 
I just don't understand how something like that can happen. I definitely haven't had it's from it says Sheen UK site. I haven't ordered anything from Sheen. I haven't got any PR from Sheen, and I've never worked with Sheen, so I don't know how. If it was a case of they meant to send something to Amy and they put my address, that just wouldn't happen. So I just don't know how this could happen. It's not like Amy's ordered something and accidentally put my address. That just does not happen. How has this happened? Sorry, curiosity killed the cat. Um, I just have to open it. Sorry, Amy, if this is like a big bag of lingerie and a big fat dildo. Sorry, Grandma. I do think my grandma watches these vlogs. Um, I just, just don't understand. I mean, I'm glad it's gingham. Definitely not something I've ordered, though. What is it? Oh, it's a nice little gingham skirt. It's actually really cute. <laughs> I just don't understand how it's got here. Oh, this is lovely stuff. It's me, my dressing gown, and a bacon sandwich. And the sun. God, it's probably only been a few days, but... I feel like I've not drove my car in ages, because Jake's been giving me lifts everywhere. Even just to and from his house which is only like two minutes from me, but he's just cute. I feel like I'm not driving my car. Weird, it feels like a foreign, foreign vessel. You know, I'm actually really liking my eyebrows just as they are, which is kind of spooky. I mean, obviously I brushed them up a little bit, but just with castor oil. Um, but yeah, I kind of like them like this. Maybe I might tone them down. But the thing is, after all that hate I got on that video about my eyebrows, I don't want it to look like I've toned them down just for those people because they're bellends. So I can't, even if I did want to tone them down now, I can't because I look like I'm, you know, sub submitting to it. I don't think that's the right word. Jake's so cute. I know I, I, know I say it all the time. I'm sorry. Because I've been feeling poorly. He's just been being so nice and he's been like, no, we'll watch what you want, we'll do whatever you want, like, just whatever you want to eat, what, anything. Uh, so last night, I really wanted to watch, you know when you watch something when you're younger, um, and you loved it as a kid, and you know what, it'll be shit. You know it's a shit film, but it's just like a comfort from when you were younger. I wanted to watch Five Children and It. I remember watching it when I was little, and I just, I love it. I love films where there's a character and they're just cheeky. I like cheeky. Um, and there's this little green man who's so cheeky. I just like it, it's just a bit of me. So I made him, it's not even on anything. It's not on Amazon, it's not on Netflix, it's not on nothing, because it's shit. Should we go, off? no, it's not shit, I love it. I'm not slugging it off. Um, he, he got it up on his phone, he got some sort of dodgy stream up, he was watching it in like, like 140p. <laughs> We're not finished it yet. We've got to finish um, the second half of it tonight, but, I just think he's sweet, sitting through this ridiculous film with me, with this little green man, just because I want to, in the shittiest quality possible. <laughs> he hates watching anything in under 10 million K. Has to be 4K for the 4K TV. No. Well, we knew it was going to happen. We all knew it was going to happen. But even worse than that, no double chocolate cookies. Read that again. A spokesperson for the venue later confirmed to the MEM that the decision to cancel the concert was made after an item believed to be part of an aircon unit that fell from a gantry inside the arena. Nobody was hurt. Why have they not had their arse in gear getting this freaking arena together? How many shows are they going to have to cancel now? What, when are they going to reschedule these? Olivia, I got both tickets. I got tickets for the Friday and the Saturday so I could choose. So I could choose, because something, you know, when you have to book a gig a year in advance, I don't know what I'm doing in a year. So if something comes up, say if your friend Josephine's getting married or, you know, it's Salamander's funeral, you just don't know what's going to happen and you don't know if you're going to be able to attend. So I thought, I'll get tickets for Friday and for Saturday and then we can pick. So I sold the Friday ones yesterday, but it's all cancelled anyway, so it doesn't matter, but... I just hope they're going to pick a date to reschedule. To be fair, I'm half glad because I'm not really like back up to scale yet, but you know, with just, just life. But I feel like they're just going to, they're going to reschedule on a day where you're busy or I'm busy. And then what? This guy does not care.
with you today. I gave you all wings. That's not an easy thing to do, you know. Wings is a big job. <laughs> Call you might show some gratitude. Very grateful. That sounds very... I do need this wish. Morning. I have a hair appointment today. Um, that's about it. That's about it. I'm going to continue doing boring jobs. But Billy Eilish tickets come out today. I signed up for Live Nation ones, of all things. I don't know why. I just get their emails. So that, that's the best reminder for me. I really should be subscribed to Ticketmaster. I'm sure I get Ticketmaster emails. Anyway, went on today to check anyway. Because Ticketmaster pre-sale has already happened. And they're like £400 each. And I don't understand. They're like £398 each. So I was like, what? Are they, are they already sold and then reseller prices? But... I don't think they are. Jake was looking at him, he was like, that's just the prices. And then he was looking at all Twitter stuff and people complaining about it. So I think, I think they are just the prices. Which I just really can't wrap my head around because Billie Eilish is, I'd like to think would be quite a fair artist. So I don't get it. And some of the prices, when you click on like the description of what the ticket is actually for, it says 150 pounds goes to charity. I don't understand, like what? That's 150 pounds, that's more than the price of a full ticket that's more than the price of a standing ticket should be I think and that's added on just for charity so I don't know I'll see my live nation goes live at 12 the pre-sale so I'll have a look but I'm assuming they're gonna be the same prices and the even bigger question is will co-op even have their shit together by 2025 probably not How bloody nice is it to just go for a dog walk in the sun? That was luscious. I would have filmed while I was out there, but it was actually very windy. But it was nice because I wasn't sweaty walking up the big hill. It was just like a nice breeze. Lovely experience. Oh, God, the weather just makes everything. All right, hair appointment now. But it's not going to be that fun because I have to leave with wet hair. She, she's fit me in. But she couldn't fit me in for the drying bit, which is... Yeah, no, it's not going to be it. Not the most pleasurable appointment because I'm not having it dried. I'm going to have a very cold, wet head. Change my mind. So many things have just happened. <laughs> I wasn't, she wasn't even supposed to dry my hair in that appointment. Then I ended up getting a fringe. I was like, I love Sabrina Carpenter's fringe. I know I've only just grown out my fringe and I was complaining because it was too short and I couldn't do it, but can I have it again? Literally, before people, right, people were obsessing over Sabrina Carpenter, but nothing like on the scale they are now. And I'd already brought in that picture to have my fringe like hers months ago. Wait, was it back near October? And it looked, <laughs> I just could not style it like that. It looked like that when India did it, but when I did it, no. I've been sucked back in again and I've got it but you know what I think I'm gonna try my best and I think when I've got curly hair it's gonna make sense I know I like a bit of a highland cow now but I think it's kind of cute I might go home and wave my hair I got Jake to try and get Billie Eilish tickets um but they're just a piss tape but I think what we've discovered is I think something like with the Ticketmaster thing with them being 400 pounds um Taylor Swift's apparent I think it's Taylor Swift, Jake says, apparently suing Ticketmaster because it's not actually the artist that charges that much. I don't think. Don't take my word for any of this. This is just a thing. Um heard from a person from a person's, you know, so Chinese whispers you whispers, you know it's like. Apparently Ticketmaster charges that much, depending on like how many people how much demand there is, how many people there are on the website. But at the end of the day, say Billie Eilish only gets £50 per ticket. Even if the ticket goes up to £300, £400, she still only gets that set amount. It's the ticket site charging that amount because of the demand. Which um, makes me feel better about Billie. I didn't think she would cheat us like that. But at the same time, I just think if you knew that as an artist, I would refuse. I would straight up refuse. Like, no, my fans come first. And that is just outrageous. Um so yeah but we had the live nation pre-sale and i made jake try and go on because i was driving but the cheapest again was 145 which yes 
is much less, but it's still too much and I just refuse. So we've left it, you know, we saw Billy the other year and just, I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm happy to try and get resale nearer the time because I honestly just don't think people are going to pay that. No one's got that money, like to just spend, you know, you could get, a, you could have a small holiday or you could have a, a maybe a staycation um, for that price. Just, it's just too much. Anyway. So I've put a little pin in the Billie Eilish thing. Obviously we're not going to Olivia Rodrigo because the co-ops are shambles. I've just got an email, just as I was paying for my hair then, off Rimmel London asking if I want to go in a box with them to watch Olivia Rodrigo in London. <laughs> I was trying to pay and I read it and I was, <laughs> you were telling me the price. I was like, stop right there. What is this? What is this? It's on the same day as a Sephora event and I've never been invited to a Sephora event before either so I was very excited for that. They're opening on the Trafford Centre but I mean it's Olivia Rodrigo, the old two in a box. What? No, not turning anything down, not turning that down or anything. So yeah, I've just replied, all excited. Oh, aren't these so good for Tesco? The juice to clear. Oh, I'm actually tempted. They're nice, why are they nice? They look like they could be expensive. Uh, well, uh, I bet it all scratches off, don't it, when they get hit in the airport. Do you know what? It actually does look so Sabrina, like, ignore the, ignore the rest of my hair. It does look so Sabrina-esque. Oh, it's just whether I'll be able to do it on my own. I made a very nice Vietnamese curry for my lovely sibling. It looks nice. It looks like the picture. Some nice bread. It's so nice when it's tepid like this. Like it's not even. It's just nice. It's just nice. It's not windy. It's not cold. It's just like. It's just nice. Jake says I look like the girl, the Wendy's girl, with my hair like this. I do. I do. I don't know why I've not done a Jessie from Toy Story makeup look yet. I don't know. So I've got a call with Zoe now, and then wanna out edit some more youtube send some stuff off and then i i think i might do some makeup i want to see what the fringe looks like with my face so i think i'll do some makeup i've been saving up so much pr to do an unboxing video so i might do that hi um, have i rang on the right thing yes perfect sorry oh. i was just Oh, is it one TikTok and one carousel? Perfect. Got my little vlog from the Made by Mitchell event done. Just finished editing this House of CV track. It is late. It is late. It was. I was supposed to put it up so you could help me pick my wedding guest dress, but I obviously fell ill, so I didn't get it up. But it's all right. It's uploading. <sighs> to be honest, I really wish I didn't pick that dress. But whatever. You can, you can let me know which one I should have picked. I'm going to go and get in the shower. Nice shower. And then I'm going to do some Sabrina Carpenter makeup. She's beautiful. I'm so glad she doesn't wear lashes as well. I don't like wearing lashes. Okay, now don't be alarmed when I come back. I will look alarmingly like Sabrina Carpenter, but it, it's going to be me. So don't, don't worry. It's still me. Don't worry. It's just me. It's still me. It's still Jenna. I know I nearly fooled you there, but it's... It's just me. I actually, I don't like it. I don't even wear highlighter on my skin, but I absolutely love the skin. I love the makeup. I love the skin so much. It's just friendly, you know what I mean? And I love the fringe. I'm not gonna lie, I messed around with it for a long time. Like if you do it this way, it looks kind of seventies. You pull it far away. It just almost looks like I don't even have a fringe. It's just got volume. And then if I brush it in the middle, I look like that lady with the fullest fringe ever. I don't know what her name is, but she can't even see. You know, that presenter or something. I don't know what she's called. And then you've just got to jig it around so much. I don't know how people have a fringe. No, I do really like it though. I think I've done well with the outfit as well. I definitely think this is something Sabrina would wear on stage. It's a um, poster girl, poster girl dress, which I've never wore actually. It's absolutely gorgeous. Like what a dress. 
Maybe I'll wear it this summer. What a, what a, what a dress. It's even got the little purple straps, but yeah, do you know what? I love it. Oh, fuck. If only I had like honey blonde hair. I'd like to see what it looked like. I'd like honey blonde hair. Get a bit bored of this. Yeah, I'm happy with it. I'm happy. Forbidden pizza for a I new curry. So fruity. This is proper Saturday night shit. I like my fringe, I like it. Morning. It's just typical that it would be sunny through the week and then obviously when it gets to bank holiday weekend, it's raining. Me and Jake were gonna go on a nice walk like to the later ship, but check the weather there and it was proper raining there. So we're gonna go to York, I think, but we wanted to walk along the walls and take the schnauzer, but apparently dogs aren't allowed. What sort of dog's not allowed to walk on a wall? Um, but yeah, I think we're going to walk at uh, York, York. Oh, I don't have the heart to wake him up. It's raining, he won't even want to go. Oh my god, look at this boy. Buddy, it's time for your walk. It's time to go. <laughs> I can't even brush it out, it just gets bigger. Take the A19 exit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. Why is it so annoying? It's like, what is that? It's like the Queen's Courtyard and the two schnauzers. It's just so, everything's so nice here. Even just like the bricks are just, like, look at these bricks. Whoa. Now those are, that's a set of bricks. Oh, God. It's just like Princess Village. Obviously got to play our gripping game. Very shocking to say how posh they are. Very shocking. It's exactly like. What is it? Hogsmeade? No, no, but it, no, I say, I'm saying it's like Hogsmeade. Diagon Alley? No, Hogsmeade is a village, isn't it? It's fucking Hogsmeade, mate. These look so good. Damn. You okay? Stopped for a pizza. I'd love to know where my. Um, what does Drake talk about? Fashion Love to know where my fashion. Wait, it doesn't, it doesn't. Oh, it is a fashion fruit, isn't it? Yeah. Just drop an olive in. Looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, it does look good. Mm. Had to. We had to go to that nice little uh, cake shop. We've got Jacob Blondie, and I got some, I got some. We've got all Biscoff, but I got some Biscoff Rocky Row for later. Is it nice? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we found this shop, and it's got jelly cats, and it's got this really cool. Wax melt. Jay wants it. I'm getting it. You getting it? Yeah, I'm getting it. That's cute. Oh, this is me. This is Jake. I love them, but I, I love that. But it's seven, seventeen, ninety nine. Oh, oh, oh. Got a full. Look at that. It's a full. That's a proper portion left over from yesterday. That's called not being a piggy, Jake. Take out all his all in one. It's is it Saturday night? It's Saturday night and we're watching a documentary. Night, man. Call weekend. <laughs> Do that with your hand again. <laughs> Saturday night, bank holiday weekend, and we're watching a documentary about Tesco. <laughs> Good morning. It is a lovely day. We're going on a nice walk again. My fringe, I'm just getting used to. It's, it's, uh, kind of, it's questionable, but I like it. I feel a little bit... Is it 80s, would you say, yours? Yeah. <laughs> I like it, though. I just got a little Jimmy's iced coffee. Mocha, because I fancy it's so different, because I always just get a Luke's Ace Walk. And you know when you just want a sunny drink? I like that it's in a little tin as well. I feel, I feel retro. I poured perfume on my top, though. I thought it would have dried. Oh, because it's alcohol, it'll just dry, it's just stain. Hey, my foot is not a ramp. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're gonna have to be. I don't, I'm not giving that attack. <laughs> He's never gonna know. I know, I, it's not my fault. Is he turning off? There's no, no, no way. He's turning off. <laughs> ah! 
<laughs> oh, 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 oh bless. Yeah, we're trying to make homemade gyros again. Yeah, we did it last year, but it it, mm, it, was, it, it, it was. I can't really remember it to be honest. But <laughs> look at Jake's invention to keep the chicken. Well, it's a homemade kebab, isn't it? Yeah. I'm doing the chips. Where are my chips? Where are my chips? I've never air fried chips before. Do my chips. Yeah, that's good. Oh, oh, uh. Yeah, a bit longer. A little bit longer. Should be ready by the time my chips are. Eight minutes left. That should be good timing. Got all the stuff. Starving. You won't. Yeah, do you want to put one in or not? Oh, look alright. No? Look at this bike. Look at this bloody bike. Me and Jake wanted bikes a few years ago and he made me get this one. He was like, oh, you need you need a mountain bike. Went, well, I don't know what it is. He was like, no, you need this bike for, for riding around here. Like, I just wanted one with a basket, a cute one. Just an easy bike. It's so big. It's hideous anyway. I don't even know why I said yes to this. It's just, it's just huge. It's so hard to ride. It's too long for me. And I, I literally, I got on like once and I hurt myself and never went on it ever again. So I'm flogging this. I'm getting the one I wanted with a basket and a bell and a just nice stuff. Oh, does this have a bell? Wait, how's a bell? Oh, I don't think I've ever, oh, <laughs> think I've ever used it. I've never used the bloody bike. <gasps> oh. My mate was DJing it in that, yeah. I just Shut thought, up. Like, Shut up. I like walking like this, but it's annoying because it's... Because you're small. Yeah, and we're just you're like... You're smaller than me. <laughs> Bloody hell. It's the end of the week. I didn't even... I didn't even realise. It's literally... It's like 10 to 10 and we're both exhausted on a bank holiday weekend. We're absolute shit houses. To be fair, though, we've been up. We was up early. We went to bed early. We got up early. We had a big walk. We had some drinks. We're just, we're just tired teddies. We're just sad bastards. No, we're happy. We're happy, aren't we? Just a fucking baby. Just a fucking baby. Okay. I hope everyone's had a more adventurous. No, we're gonna. No, we're gonna. We're having a nice time. We, the Euros were nice, and now we're gonna watch, um, Happy Gilmore. Because we've both not watched it. I think I have watched it actually, I just can't remember it. But I hope everyone's had a more exciting bank holiday than us. No, it's been good, it's been really good. That is. Security guard. And I'll see you next week. Alexa, name my off. Uh, gas station attendant. Slide. <laughs>